Nation! We're back. A lot of you guys doubted me and said that I wouldn't be back for another two months and you guys are valid in that, but here we are. We are back with part two of my Peru experience, extravaganza, I don't even know. And if you guys missed part one, this video is not gonna make any sense to you. So what are you doing here? I need you to file new tab, youtube.com, and watch my first video first. Cause that shit was crazy. That was an adventure in itself. And then just come on over to this video once you're done. And before we get started, we do have a sponsorship, so take it away, Sarah. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. It's a brand new year, and I'm sure that everybody has set a lot of goals for themselves. And if you don't have any goals for yourself this year, it's a good day to start some. For me, my personal goal was to stick to therapy. I have started therapy back up again a few months ago. And in the past, I would get a therapist, I would go for a little bit, then I would just stop. I would kind of ghost my therapist. And I've had like five. But now I have a new therapist and I love her. And honestly, my goal is just to show up every single week because I know that it's really improving my mental health and I just feel so much lighter and that's why I love BetterHelp. BetterHelp makes therapy a lot easier and a lot less intimidating for people. BetterHelp lets you have therapy sessions as a phone call, as a video chat, or even messaging. Whatever's the most comfortable version of therapy for you. BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in your network based on your needs, your preferences, your location, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise than may be available in your city. To get started, all you have to do is just fill out their questionnaire. They're gonna ask you which challenges you're going through, what you wanna work on, which type of therapists that you like, and then BetterHelp can match you with a therapist to help you. And what's cool about BetterHelp is you can schedule your sessions at any time, whatever is convenient for you. And if you're not vibing with your therapist and if you want a different one, you can just switch therapists with a click of a button in your settings at no additional cost. So you don't have to feel anxiety or like awkward about breaking up with your therapist. Therapist. You can just do it. You can just click it. Bye bye. Next. So join 4 million people who have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life. Just click the link in my description or go to betterhelp.com slash Sarah Basco. And by clicking that link, you would be directly supporting me and this channel. And it also gives you 10% off of your first month at BetterHelp. So you can connect with a the therapist and see if it helps you. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video. And let's get into it. Okay, so where the hell did we leave off? Basically, everything was going swell until we got to Cusco and I delivered baby Satan. <laughs> this is gonna make no sense if you haven't watched the first video. Go watch it. I'm gonna sound insane right now, but I basically delivered Satan on my bathroom floor in Peru. And because of that, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to go to Machu Picchu the next morning. Yeah, so now basically we're at the part of the story where Sammy Christelle's father. Okay, fuck you guys. <laughs> but you wanna see my butt? Okay. Mm. <laughs> is about to force me to get my ass up out of that bed and go on a three mile hike up to Machu Picchu. So that's what you miss. It's about to cut into the same footage as the other video. So that's why I look exactly the same. So let's get into it. No is not an option. It's not. It's just not. I can so do this. I can so do this. Hey, I don't know the outcome, but we're going. So I was like, okay. I brought my Tylenol with me, extra strength, take a quick shower. We go out, we meet them in the little breakfast area. Christelle's dad is whipping up an elixir, just a potion. He goes, where's your hydro flask? And I'm like, Right here, sir. Christelle's dad is so intimidating. He's amazing. Like one of my favorite people ever. But when he gets in these modes, he, he can be like a little bit intimidating. So I'm just like, yes, sir, here you go. He's like, I'm going to make sure you are okay. You're just not missing out on today. That would be stupid if you didn't come. And I'm like, no, yeah, you're right. Just, I trust you, I trust you. He takes my hydro flask and he fills it up with hot water. He tells me a little bit about coca tea. And he like whipped up some coca tea for me. Basically told me that I needed to drink this entire thing on the bus. And when I'm done drinking it, he's gonna refill it and make me some more coca tea. And I'm thinking, okay, tea like perfect i don't know what coca tea is and he goes no coca tea this will cure you okay 
Let's go, Sammy. What the hell is coca tea? Let me just read you the definition. Coca is a sacred plant in countries like Peru and Boli Bolivia. Chewing coca leaves or drinking coca tea can give you an energy boost and is traditionally believed to help prevent altitude sickness. The coca alkaloid content of coca tea is such that the consumption of one cup of coca tea can cause a positive result on a drug test for cocaine. It's not quite like cocaine, but it's but it ain't nothing. It's just so normal and common there where it's just like, duh, just drink some coca tea, you'll feel better. But he gave me the laxatives the night before so I could like flush out my system. And then today he was planning on giving me the coca tea to alleviate the after effects. He had a process. Sammy, he had it all written out. He had an outline of like what he was gonna do to help me through this. So he gave me the coca tea and we got on the train and bruh. I was in so much pain on that bus. Oh my God. And that bus was so long. I think it was like two hours, but oh my God, on the bus, I was just dying. But I was chugging that coca tea and I kept looking at Sam and I'm like, I'm doing it. And I'm like trying to fight back the tears. I'm like, I trust you. He was so gracious and empathetic towards me. And so was the uncle. Like they just knew what was going on with me. <laughs> Just this white bitch going to Peru for the first time. Hey y'all, I made it. <laughs> She's got this, guys. There were like cute little performances on the train that I couldn't fully enjoy to my full capacity because I was in pain, but like it was so cute. I recorded it anyway. <laughs> Then we finally get there and I can't remember what the little town is called right next to Machu Picchu, but we got into that little town, got off the train and I was feeling a little bit better. We were just kind of like walking around waiting for our tour to start. <laughs> and then we got on another bus and then the bus like led us on another journey to get to the start of our Machu Picchu trail where he was gonna be leading us. So that was like another 30 minutes and in that 30 minutes, like I was still feeling a little bit of pain but it wasn't that bad. We get to the beginning of the hike. We're all standing there and we're in like a big group of people and I'm noticing that I'm like present and I'm like jazzed. The coca tea man, like genuinely the three gallons of coca tea that I consumed and the cutie pie tour guide, I don't know, just like the mixture of the two of them calmed my body down and I felt normal. We were all standing there at the bottom of the hike, just ready to go up with the group and her dad was like, you good? And I'm like, yeah. I'm chilling. We went on the journey to go to Machu Picchu. It was a pretty hard hike, but it wasn't terrible. Like it wasn't unbearable, you know what I mean? I was pretty out of shape before this trip. So I was, huff me and Christelle were huffing and puffing a little bit. We were surprised that her dad and uncle were just always ahead of us. It was kind of embarrassing. It was maybe like an hour or two to get up. It was truly like the most magical thing I've ever seen. I don't know how to describe it. So cool. We took so many pictures in different locations. We got even closer to it. And we just 
had no idea that we would be able to walk through it. Like we didn't know that that was even allowed. Like that was even a part of the tour. And y'all at this point, I'm thriving. I don't feel any pain at all. My guardian angels, God was just looking down on me and just being like, you're gonna have a good day. And just walking around Machu Picchu and getting to see all these llamas, it was, ah! My inner child was doing back handsprings. moment. Sarah's so excited. <laughs> Holy shit. They're huge. All right, Sarah. What are you going to say? Yeah. OMG. Hi, boys. Might I spit at him? No. He is gorgeous. He is Gorgina. I think you're the nervous one. Oh my god, look at his earring. Wait, this is such a beautiful- come look at this. Dude. <laughs> this is us. Which one are you? This one. The one eating? No. Red, this, the one you were doing. <laughs> the one just taking in the breeze. Please spit at me, please spit at me, please spit at me. Please. Spit in my mouth. Wait, I don't even know if these are the ones that spit. We got to walk through Machu. Dude, it was so cool. The architecture, truly exquisite. I was just absolutely blown away at what I was witnessing. So let me just kind of explain to you why Machu Picchu is so important, if you guys don't know the background of it. The monument was built in the 15th century. 15th century, bitch, and it's still up. Are you kidding me? Served simultaneously as a center of work worship and astronomic observation and as a rest place of the royal family of the Inca Pachacutec Pachacutec ah sorry it is considered as the most amazing urban creation of the Inca empire and one of the most important heritage sites in the world like i said earlier the Incas they are rock stars, superstars. How the hell did they build that? How is it still perfectly intact? There was no cement, there was no glue. There's nothing holding it together. It's just perfectly stacked rocks, like Tetris, like they're playing Tetris. And all of the rocks are completely different shapes and sizes. And no matter what force, it's not gonna break down. It's just absolutely mind blowing seeing it in person. Oh my God, and just like hearing all of the stories from our tour guide of just all of the things that would happen at Machu Picchu and just all of the rooms and like all of the meanings of the different rooms and just, okay. And like, this is why it's such a big mystery on how they even and built it in the first place. Um, it says, another great mystery of Machu Picchu is how it was built without the wheel. Although the Incas are believed to have known about the wheel's existence, they never used it. Like just like a wheel being able to carry the big rocks and like put the rocks in different places, I'm assuming. They didn't use any technology. They didn't use any sort of help to build these rocks on top of each other. They just used themselves, which makes no sense. Machu Picchu is just like consumed with so much mystery because it's so big too in person. It's truly a maze when you actually walk through it. If you guys want to learn more about it, I would suggest watching some YouTube videos about it. Like you can just feel the energy there and overwhelming sense of love. It's such a spiritual place and you just feel it. It's so warm there. Like I was so happy there. It was just such a positive energy. While I was there, I was like, okay, this makes sense that this is one of the seven wonders of the world because I'm like connecting with the higher power right now while I'm here. I'm just so happy that Christelle's dad forced me to go. I would have regretted that for the rest of my life. Experiencing that for the first time with my best friend too and with her family, it was, oh, I like want to cry about it. It was, it was seriously like one of the best days of my life. If Christelle's dad didn't force me to get my ass up, I would have just been sitting in that dark room just in pain all day. I don't know, just something about the atmosphere and probably the coca tea. I don't know, I don't know if it was just like a spiritual thing happening to me, but just like, I just snapped out of it and my body was just healed.
I don't know, it like literally healed me. I didn't have one more pain that entire rest of the trip, y'all. Machu Picchu is that magical. Like it truly healed my body. And I stand by that. And that was a really long tour. That tour was all day long, obviously. Then after that tour, we got some dinner by this little creek or river thing. I don't know, we were like right next to the window. And we had some Pisco Sours. I was feeling good. We were just celebrating the fact that we all just saw Machu Picchu, oh my God. Christelle, this view. There's not even a window, put your hands in. We out here. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. It's really so. Hey, hi. Hey, what's happening? How are you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And it was crazy because Christelle's dad and uncle, they were telling us stories about how they would just like hang out at Machu Picchu when they were teenagers and kids. And that was like a spot where they would meet up with friends sometimes and it was chill. Nobody regulated it because it's super regulated now. It's obviously just like a tourist spot now. Nobody can just go there whenever they want. But back when Sammy and uncle were growing up, like they could just go there and just mess around and have fun. What? What? It was just really cool to listen to her dad and her uncle tell all of these really interesting stories about growing up in Peru. After Machu Picchu, we were exhausted. I was so tired because I barely got any sleep the night before too because I was in the bathroom all night delivering Satan. But we didn't get home till pretty late. Like we didn't get home till like probably midnight. No, wait, <laughs> there's more than this <laughs> She wants to go home. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Go get inside a place to go. Well, that was terrible. It was pretty awful. Go get inside. <laughs> Benton Harbor, Michigan. <laughs> Nobody's home. <laughs> cool. I'll check that out. It's where she lies, broken inside. We out here in. And then we had to be up again at 6 in the morning because we had another tour planned, which is great. 6 a.m. It was just something that I had to get used to, but I was, I loved it. I didn't mind it. We were just so tired. <laughs> Me and Christelle both just didn't realize that like every day we were just going to be hiking all day, miles uphill. Um, we just would have prepared for that, I think. It was pretty difficult for us physically. We need to be able to keep up with your dad and your uncle. This is so embarrassing. So we wake up at six in the morning. I am so relieved that I feel normal. I'm reborn. We go back to the little breakfast thing. Christelle's dad goes, hydro flask. And I'm like, got you. He's just pouring coca tea down my throat all morning. It healed me. We get on another train, then we go to another really cool agricultural site. But at this site, there were so many llamas everywhere dude like they were stray cats it was just so normal and it was just the cutest thing ever oh my god they were like little kitties i'm gonna throw up i have to leave <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, be careful. Oh my god. Love you. I love your work. You're fantastic. <laughs> oh my god. Are you crying? Okay. Okay. Bless you. <laughs>
Dude, that scared me. Dude, that shit was running. We flew here all the way from Los Angeles. <laughs> big fans, big fans. <laughs> Come to prison. <Brazil. laughs> hey. Was it soft or was it like really not? It was um like not really. <laughs> it was I. <laughs> Whoa. The mosquitoes love me. Hey, buddy. Hey, look at the camera. <laughs> he doesn't care. Bye, llamas. Love ya, llamas. Bye, llamas. Super llama sad. Bye. I'm a mentally disturbed llama. <laughs> Somebody, where's Issa? The only problem that I had with this tour stop was I was just wearing incorrect shoes. What the hell? I was wearing slippers? Hey, what? I guess like I thought this was gonna be just like a chill little tour. I didn't know that I was gonna be hiking about three miles this morning. I should have asked her dad. I don't know why I didn't, I don't know. So I wore slippers. It wasn't life altering. I wasn't like complaining about it, but I just remember being like, while I'm hiking up with my slippers on, I'm like, hmm, this was a hiking boots day. Definitely. But I endured. And then after we hiked down that thing, we were walking towards our tour bus. There was an orange juice station, a fresh squeezed orange juice station, just right there when we got done with our tour, just right there by the tour buses. And y'all, it was the yummiest orange juice I've ever had. And I'm not exaggerating. Me and Christelle went in for like fourths. Oh my God, that's so fucking good. I need 27 more of these. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I need another one. Do you want another one? Sure. Oh shit. I wish people could taste how good this is. It's the best one I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And keep them coming. This forearms must be so strong. <laughs> Gracias. Say thank you, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can ask him just how he peeled the, the orange juice. He wants you to document the process of making the orange juice. <laughs> I think everybody knows you peel it and you squeeze it. <laughs> and then we finally got back to our little car. And then after that, remember when I was talking about our cutie pie tour guide? So beautiful. Like beautiful in a weird way, like not conventionally my type. I just remember I just like looked at him and I was like, oh my god, he's like kind of cute. Me and Crystal were like, wait a sec. So he was taking us on like a private tour this day. So we were just in a car. We weren't in a bus with a bunch of people. Me, Christelle, Sammy, an uncle, a driver, and then cutie pie tour guide in the passenger seat. <laughs> Basically, we were just like with him all day. We were just so tired. <laughs> we were just so tired. I don't know how else to explain the feeling after the orange juice and we got back into the car. Juice, me and Christelle are just like running on fumes. I'm I'm not saying anything. I would never complain in front of her family. But Christelle is just outwardly being like, oh my god, dude. I can't go on another hike. She's like, dad, I can't. And mind you guys, it's only about like 10.30 in the morning at this point. And we've already hiked like three to four miles. We've already had a day. All of the sites that we saw were so Beautiful. Architecture, gorgeous. The Incas slayed. Obviously, so impressive. We were just looking at a lot of rocks all the time. And hey, I love rocks. It was so fascinating. Don't get me wrong, but I never thought that I would be overstimulated by rocks. But we just saw so many rocks all day, every day. Loved it gorgeous but me and christelle were sitting in the back of this car just being like 
we're so exhausted and we don't know what to do with ourselves. Obviously, I will zip my lips and like continue. I was invited. I will endure this. But Christelle was like, I don't know if I can do another tour of just looking at rocks right now. Like, I, I don't think that I have it in me. Guys, like, <laughs> can we like take a break? We see Cutie Pie Tour Guide. Let's just name him um Manny. Okay, Manny. Manny is in the front seat, just kind of like overhearing Christelle and her dad's conversation, leans over to the driver, whispers something to him, and the driver nods his head. And I'm watching this happen and I'm like, that was kind of weird. And then the driver pulls into this suspicious building with these giant statues next to the front door. And me and Christelle look out the window. We're like, what is this? It was just on the highway. This isn't going to be a three hour hike. You know what I'm saying? This was just on the random highway. I was like, does someone have to pee? Even Sammy and the uncle look at each other. They're like, what is this? And then Manny turns around and apparently says in Spanish to Christelle's dad and uncle. And he says, I think that we should give the girls a break. Let's just make them really, really happy for a little bit. Let's just take a little break of our tour today and just make the girls smile. Apparently he said that in Spanish because Christelle was gagged she was like oh my god where are we like what do you mean like what is this and i was like what's going on i'm literally like what did he say what are they selling what 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 does that mean i can't hear you why are you excited why are we excited and then he says in spanish to christelle i'm taking you ladies <laughs> to this llama farm <laughs> pack a farm, you can pet them, take pictures with them, play with them. We can be here for as long as you guys want. He said in Spanish something like, I can feel that you guys are exhausted. <laughs> like you want these llamas. And we were like, Manny, you're so hot. <laughs> you're so hot. That's exactly what we need right now. And then Christelle's dad and uncle looked at each other like this. Like they were just like, oh, are you kidding me? This is such a touristy, oh. Like they were kind of annoyed. And also because they are architects, they just want to see some rocks all day. And we love that, but we just needed a break. We just wanted to pet some llamas. It was kind of funny that Manny forced Christelle's dad and uncle to like get out of the car and go pet some llamas with the girls. Once we walked into the llama farm and once they saw how happy Christelle and I were, they cheered up a little bit. They were like, okay, yeah, I get it. This this is cute. This is what the girls want to do right now. Something special for you. The brown one is just having sex with the... <laughs> yeah, right there, yeah, I'm serious. No It's videoing, I'm just taking pictures. Do it like me, don't be sh don't be shy. Do, do it like me, Look, do it like me like this. You call like this, and put it like this. Oh my god. Yes, this is the way. Oh my goodness. This is the She's just a girl. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Cute, 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 cute. A little video, Smile, see me. Hi. <laughs> Lovely. Aww. Best friend. Yeah, best friend. <laughs> she doesn't care about you. You feel it at the end of the Oh my god. Hi. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hi. You're just a baby. Hi guys. Where is it?
baby. Hi, little baby. You guys are so cute. <laughs> oh my God. Hi. Can I pet them? Or they yeah, get <laughs> this is the best day of my life. <laughs> they were gonna take us to another like ancient ruins. No, bitch. And this they is just took us to. <laughs> this is what what's, this is what life is about. We don't get this in LA, dude. We don't get ancient ruins in LA either. But well, yeah. I still want to see. I see. I still want to see that. Though. We're gonna see more tomorrow. Okay. But like after doing Machu Picchu yesterday, like it's time to relax. <laughs> Just feed some baby <laughs> llamas. Literally. You guys are so epic. I love you guys so much. I love you so much. These are magical creatures. Hi. Do they just eat all day and that's it? Do they do other things? Oh my God. Hey Kings. Do you want some? Hey. No? Yes. Oh my God, you're so handsome. Oh my God, you're so handsome. He's so handsome. Holy shit. Hey buddies. Oh my god. There's a goat. Hey buddy. You want some? Yeah. Yeah. You want some? No? Okay. Chewbacca. The one that you're petting over there is so handsome. I know, but he like fights with everyone. That's why he's in his own pet. He fights with everyone? Yeah, that's why he's alone. Oh. <laughs> we were bonding. I saw that. <gasps> I'm so scared they're gonna bite my I know, out. same. Bye guys, Illy. And actually we protected a lot because the people continue to hunt him, poaching, oh. poaching for the wool. Because the wool in the black market has a good value. Right. Know, like uh, one kilo rounds, 10,000 American. Wow. That's the reason the name is the goal, of, the goal of the Andes. Because the value is more than gold, right? Come on, buddy. Those so are good. totally wild, remember. You got it, you got it, you got it, you oh, got there's it. So many more. You got it, you got That's it. The reason is close and different. If you put your finger, it's by you. <laughs> Yay. <Get it. laughs> yes. Nice. thing that I will say about that <sighs> I have a very intense fear with rodents anything small that can run fast like a rat a mouse hamster guinea pig just anything in that realm I am deeply deeply afraid of it it's very deep rooted and psychological goes back to childhood but it's something that I can't shake and in the Peruvian culture guinea pigs are very sacred to them they also eat guinea pigs it's very regular it truly is like chicken in Peru. I also tried some guinea pig at one of the restaurants before and it was good. It did taste like chicken. It was also helpful that it didn't look like a guinea pig. I'm saying this because at this llama farm, there was like a little guinea pig farm. Christelle looked at me and she's like, ooh, is this okay? And I was like, yeah. I'm, I'll just like kind of stand back a little bit, you know? We go up to this little guinea pig farm. Just all of these guinea pigs. There were tiny little babies. There were big mamas and daddies, brothers. Like there were so many guinea pigs. Every shape, every color. It was a lot. Cause like I said, this is a fear. And so I was just kind of like standing back, looking at them and trying to like adjust to being comfortable with the idea of being around guinea pigs. Guinea pigs aren't my worst fear. My worst fear is rats. Oh, rats. I wouldn't even be around that little barrel. If it was a rat farm, hell no. I'll be in the car. I'll be in the car with the aux cord playing music. So I'm looking at them, admiring them from afar, being like, okay, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with this concept of guinea pigs. And so I'm inching closer. And now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get out my phone and record some of this for my vlog for you guys. As I'm like kind of close to them, far away enough, kind of zooming in apprehensively, my heart is still kind of racing, but I'm also relaxed in the idea of like, okay, Sarah, just chill. 
they're not gonna hurt you. And I'm like, oh. And then all of the fucking sudden, I'm like shaking right now thinking about this. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, oh, I hear a squeak. I hear a squeak right next to my ear. I turn my eyes and I just see a guinea pig this close to my face. The guinea pig's eyes looking at me like this, going <laughs> And I, dude, I literally, I can't believe that I didn't smack it. I almost did, cause my hands flailed, but they flailed out. I could have went up, dude. I could have fucking smacked that guinea pig. I could have killed it. I could have like smacked it against the wall cause there was a wall right there, dude, and I could have, but I just went like, oh my God. And I started sprinting. This sounds so dramatic and you guys are probably like Sarah, but like guys, I was so vulnerable in that moment thinking that I was safe. And now one is this close to me like oh, oh my god dude, they're so cute okay yeah <gasps> <gasps> I sprinted across that llama farm. I literally ran so far away. They were all like laughing. I think the guy that worked there thought that I was like being dramatic, but I was like actually about to freak out. Oh my God, I ran straight to the llamas. When I got around those llamas, I was like, hey guys, put your arms around me and just all rally around me right now. Just hold my hands, maybe spit in my face. <laughs> just do something, do something. Ground me, just ground me in the Lord right now. Dude, when I was back with those llamas, I was like, this is where, this is where I need to be. This is where I belong. The guy that worked there, he felt so bad. Oh my God. Once he saw that I wasn't joking around and once he saw that I was frazzled by that and actually just like anxious, like dude, when I walked back over to them, I was shaking and he was just like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I thought that you were joking. I didn't know it was that bad. And I was like, it's okay, dude, it's okay. How were you supposed to know that? You're good, it's okay. It was just like this awkward thing where he truly felt so bad. And I was like, no, 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 hey, don't worry about it. Just don't do it again. He was really sweet, no disrespect. You know, you, you guys know what I mean. Anyway, then I bought a llama stuffed animal. Oh my God, at that llama farm. Besides guinea pig gate, that was truly like one of the best days of my life. Just being at that llama farm, being around all of that love. And look at my little llama stuffed animal. I love him. And he's so soft. This was my biggest investment, I think, while I was in Peru. Like I spent the most money on this little guy for sure, but it was so worth it. I just love him so much. He's so chill and so cute. I'm honestly just so grateful that Manny, our cutie pie tour guide let us stop at a llama farm and you know what guinea pig experience potato potato it's fine i just needed some llama loving in that moment and i got it i got so much of it this niche right here it was basically to keep the whole tools for the dissection of the dead body Mm. And this is the table to place the dead body right there and do the dissection. Oh, wow. Just pull it out the whole internal organs. If you touch this, walk this rock, you can feel the temperature is extra cold. Mm -hmm. It's something nobody can explain. Wow. Yeah, there's no light here, so they put like a plaque of gold there to just like refract the light here oh. so they could see what they were doing. As you can see, all this has been carved. Yeah, yeah, look at the stairs. Yeah. Nobody can explain that. Croissant tree. No way. I mean, I'm just saying that because it peels, like it feels like a <laughs> croissant. Yeah, oh. It's an name that is a croissant tree. You go, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't hurt the, the tree. 
because annually this is the way it grows. After year after year, it's coming and growing. Wow. It's giving twilight. Should we recreate that scene? I know what you are. Oh, I was gonna do this. Say it. Hold on tight, spider monkey. No. <laughs> I know what you are. Say it. Say it. Out loud. Out loud. <laughs> Vampire. Vampire. <laughs> That was so hot. We should rewatch that. Yeah, that was really hot. I just got turned on. <laughs> and then didn't she like get on his back immediately and oh, like ran through the trees? Yeah. <laughs> So sexy. Like, can we sit down and digest that you're a vampire really quick? Yeah, this is a lot to take in. Damn. Oh, right here in the big one. Oh, that's right there. What are you Am I stupid? Right here. You see, right here in the in the upper side. On the you left? Know. Yeah, right here. The, this one. This one. This rod. The hand. The hand of the puma. The cliff. <laughs> no, no, no. Look, 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 look. Just listen. What I gotta say. This part is this part. Okay. Oh, the rocks are. Oh my God. Duh. And, oh. I was, oh my I was thinking for an actual imprint. Oh, duh. <laughs> Are we fucking stupid? Oh my god, I felt yeah, so dumb. Oh. You were looking for an imprint. Yeah. I was like, where the fuck is it? I was like, it has to be on the first row, right? This oh. is the part right here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, like, how did they so, do that? Tantas piedras? Yeah. Ah, las trajeron. Probablemente extraterrestres. Extraterrestrials. Oh my god, my eyes got really dry. Right now? No, I've been saying. Wait, so do we. This is a can. It's coming, the shape is coming like this. Is it like the cross? No, it's like a lightning strike. It's coming like this. Six hours, like, you know? 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 We should take a pic like that. Oh, like this? Mm -hmm. Can we go behind? There you go. Hell yeah. Ah. Where's the you? <laughs> <laughs> No way they did the guinea pig like this. Two hours later. Michelle's having a meltdown. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> she's really tired. I like. <laughs> she doesn't want to get up early anymore. <laughs> and she doesn't want. <laughs> she doesn't want to walk up steps. Oh my God! You're actually crying. She doesn't want to walk up any more steps. I'm so tired. <laughs> and I have diarrhea.
dude. <laughs> <laughs> we both have diarrhea. It's been really hard. <laughs> I think that the sights that we saw were really no, cool. It's so cool and so fun, but I need to lay down <laughs> for like for three days. And I'm sunburned. <sighs> I'm so tired. Her dad has been making us get up every day and see. No, that's when we go to sleep. <laughs> we've been getting up at five in the morning every day, and we've been walking for miles. <laughs> not able to keep up with these middle aged men. <laughs> oh my god. Whenever I'm with them, I just feel really pathetic. <laughs> I just need to lay down. Oh my god, I really needed to let that like, out. Like, the way that your uncle was in front of us the entire time on every single hike, and then whenever we would stop, he just wouldn't breathe heavily, no. and we were just dying. Dude. <laughs> Every single time we would be walking around anywhere and there was a patch of grass, she would be like, wow, I really want to lay down on that grass. That grass looks really fluffy like a bed. It's so nice to just take a nap in the shade. I'm like, girl. Well, the day before Machu Picchu, I didn't sleep at all. I slept for like 45 oh, minutes. Oh yeah, because I was having diarrhea all night. <laughs> Dude. Like, I slept for 45 minutes, then fucking hiked Machu Picchu. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was insane. Like, how are we still- And then we woke up at 6. Dude, that first place they fucking took us to, the, the ruins. Uh <laughs> <laughs> that ruined me. No, it was so cool. It was. I, I could have learned everything from- down, not 25 million <laughs> steps up. We had to walk like a mile up these, up like these stone, gorgeous, view. Go gorgeous, gorgeous view. view, gorgeous view. But we had to walk like a mile up nonstop at like what nine in the morning, dude. Yeah, and oh, and we didn't even have breakfast. <laughs> we didn't eat until 3 p.m. today. Insert clip of my fucking lunch. <laughs> The most ridiculous <laughs> shit ever. That was the scariest lunch I've ever seen. Oh, and that was right after we got done at the petting zoo. Yeah. Where, where you, I... you were holding a guinea pig. <laughs> and then you order one Dude. at the restaurant. Dude, I just... I'm so tired. <laughs> need to I lay can't down. do it anymore. <laughs> Lay no, down this... isn't enough. I need to pass away. <laughs> I need to be mummified. <laughs> no, this back to back shit. It's a lot. I was not expecting this from your dad and your uncle, but I'm just happy because they're loving this because this is like their culture. I'm living vicariously through them. You I know? just like loved the chill ones that we did today. <laughs> my dad and my uncle are fucking vibing. Me and you are literally nauseous, diarrhea, <laughs> fucking can't breathe because of, I don't even know what they're gonna make us do tomorrow. Well, we're and doing that two hour tour of one of the ruins. Dude. And then we're going to another tour. <laughs> I haven't seen enough. I'm so appreciative of this trip and my culture and all of that, but like, bruh. Okay, my thing is, is like when we first got here, I was feeling so ill and terrible. And now that I'm feeling good, I'm like excited to go see these things. Yeah. But now it's the opposite for you, where you were feeling fine at first and now you're like drained. I just need to sleep properly. Other than that, we're having a great... <laughs> my forehead is so sunburned. This feels so good. <laughs> like your scalp is sunburned. Dude, dude why don't you bring a hat? I don't know, but that's why I got the headbands. Oh, but yeah, that's our update. We're having fun though. My butthole burned. <laughs> so does mine. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
Literally, I got sick and then I passed it on to her. Literally. I was totally fine. And then I woke up this morning like with water spewing out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and for the first time this entire trip, I didn't have that problem. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. We'll keep you updated. <laughs> Hopefully Crystal doesn't pass away. <laughs> The gates, the entrance to the cities or the towns, north or south. In this case of these guys, the gates to the community area, it was anywhere. Mm. For one big reason. This kind of protection, disorganized. If the enemies came in the in the town, only one thing. Oh wow! This is so cool. Wow, this view. The mountains are cute too. The Harry Styles lyrics in the back of your shirt. Do you know who you are? <gasps> Scratching my corneas. <laughs> Tickling your corneas. Give them a little tickle. Tickle, tickle. Kill people like their enemies and then use their skulls as cups to drink chicha de moya and then also they would use their bones and necklaces like their, their skull and their spines to use as necklaces super chill I feel like two girl we should have done it in Machu Picchu I, I, I wanted to Because the Incas were coming to conquest this area. Oh, got it, got it, okay. This is the Molle seat. Okay. This is. It's sweet. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, check the, the. Just lick it. You too, mommy? I already have to. This one, they Ooh. used to boil it. And uh, mm -hmm. chicha de mul. Mmm. Can okay. you swallow it? You can swallow it, it's not a problem. Oh, it's like candy. Yeah, it has kind of a little glue on it. Yeah, that's the richness. Mmm. And after you boil that, that sugar from here. It turns in chicha and it gets a beverage. Oh wow! Do it, Adam. No, what if it spits at me? I'll actually kill myself. It won't. <laughs> Get this, get this, get this. My school's all loose. Whoa! <laughs> I don't even know why you're friends with me, dude. I 
I'm trying to be a better person. Oh, wow. That was really cool. I got more where that came from. I look like such a dweeb. <laughs> Vamanos, everybody, let's go. Come on, let's get to it. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> just hit that kid. Just shoulder check that man. Oh, no. My screws all loose. Bang, go hop in the bag of the whip and we do it as you. Chain on two. that you can buy a TV and a motorcycle at the same place. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, look at the cloud. Whoa, it's kind of freaky. Is that like the aliens or some shit? <laughs> What the hell are you doing? I almost ate shit. And my dad and my uncle don't even care. Baby <laughs> Yoda. Did you watch that? I didn't either. I literally just looked at Mandalorian Baby Yoda edits. <laughs> you just looked at Baby Yoda all day. This is so cute. Yeah. I want food gummy. <laughs> uh-huh. What does that mean? It's a meme with Baby Yoda. Well, what is- you get it, get it. The girls are down, down. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about it. How are these motherfuckers not tired? They've been going all week. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. My school's all loose. Baby, don't hop in the bag of the whip and we do it as you. Oh, hi. Oh, wow. <laughs> So swag. Is it so swaggy? I'm there. Damn. Wait, they're all Americans. Why are they here? Is Beyonce here? <laughs> yeah, she's right here. <laughs> oh, shit. Sweet dream. What the hell is going on? I found it. Is it Halloween? Wait, why are you guys all dressed up? The golden party. Oh. Oh. Uh, what did you say? The golden Go party. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> and why weren't we invited? Oh are my god, they, they just keep coming. Dude, what is the swagger about? What is this gold party? Imagine if we had to pack a golden outfit in our <laughs> stupid little backpack. Dude, that guy had a golden llama shirt. I know, that looks <laughs> sick. I want that. Where is this dang place? <laughs> Brazil? Oh my Jesus. <laughs> we just walked to Brazil. <laughs> okay. That's the, the Amazon, Amazon flash. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I haven't showered in two days and I smell bad. I showered this morning and I still smell bad. We went to this show at the theater in Cusco. It was so cool. It's like the performing arts theater there. And they do these performances every night of just like the traditional Peruvian dances to like the traditional Peruvian music. Yes, okay. 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 Uh, yeah. just, uh, We're watching this alone? Yeah, we already been last night. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just let us know. We see you up there in the... Bye! Oh, okay. Yeah. Not them ditching us. They already came on Sunday. I know. I thought they were coming again. I know, me too. We get to do something alive for the first time. These are like crazy teens. I know. Did like our parents, parents finally let us like do something by ourselves? Oh my god. Can we just sit anywhere? Oh, I can't really see. Let's go over on that side. A little closer. This is lit. Maybe we should look in here. On stage. We're not in Amsterdam. Oh my god! Oh my god. I was like, oh my god, why am I bleeding so much more? You, sorry. You can wipe it on me. Oh my god. Whoa. Yes. 
it was so so cute and so fun and so interesting and all the costumes and the dance numbers they were so fire everyone was so cute <laughs> sexy um couldn't keep my eyes off of him question mark he was so so cute he was killing it he was the best one out of all of them i'm sorry like he ate them all up Christelle's eyes were just like laser focused on this dude. We were so infatuated. We wanted to get his number after the show. We wanted to hang out with him after the show. We didn't know how that worked. Who is he? We were just enthralled and we were in a trance by this man. So round two? Can we go again? Oh my god. Wait, stop. What? I'm so heartbroken. It's just what I feared. <laughs> the dancers disappeared. <laughs> that was good. But I'll wait right here. <laughs> For the tall skinny man with no beard. <laughs> oh, but I'll miss you, dear. <laughs> Let me be so clear. And I will hold you right here. <laughs> and I'm being so sincere. <laughs> Have no fear. Let me touch your lips and make my lipstick smear. Oh, lend you my ear. And maybe tap you on the, the rear. rear. <laughs> Our future is so bright. I can see it. Near. <laughs> Just give me a chance. <laughs> That's Sorry, it. I lost it. I lost it. It came in my head and I lost it. Why are they going upstairs? <laughs> VIP only. No, we can't. And she's doing it. Okay. I'm just telling how I feel before I start to reel. And I will lay down my body and take a kneel. <laughs> Oh, we had to go upstairs to leave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I was thinking that this is like a meeting. <laughs> like the green room. No, wait. I'm being sincere. If anyone knows who that man without the beard is, let us know in the comments down here. <laughs> Can you imagine if someone commented and was like, that's my cousin. Oh my God. What's his act? <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about that man <laughs> the entire rest of the time I'm here. I'm gonna dream about him. And let me be so clear. It's not gonna be sincere. And I want him right here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to tell my dad. Girls, how did you like the show? The hottest guy. <laughs> that hottie with the body. Oh my god. And it's making me awesome. feel naughty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do some karate. <laughs> Dude, his swag, dude. When they went like this, dude, I can't. I can't. I literally got. <laughs> I feel like this is so oh inappropriate for me to be doing this way. It's like a beautiful dance about your culture. <laughs> I know. 
this this tree mm -hmm. is like this one, but I I I love this. It's better than 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 this. We go there. Okay. We weren't invited. We weren't invited. We're losers. We're losers. That motorcycle. Look at that. Oh damn, Daniel. Your uncle's English is getting I know really he's good. Eating. But it was. Whoa. Perfect. Thinking about skinny, sexy boy. <laughs> sexy <Sorry>. dancer. <laughs> so they're trying to give us like really cool facts. And then you're just like, you're the voice. <laughs> <laughs> what is this for? Like this? Well, the water? For water. Oh, right, 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 right. Raining, the water goes right there, it goes away. Right. Oh wow. Dude, I looked at my razor after and there's a chunk of my finger in it. <laughs> so God. Chunk there's of a piece of me here forever. <laughs> Let's bury it. What is it? Diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Our diarrhea is just in the soil. <laughs> Dude. Whoa. Can people still hang out here? No, I don't I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. It's like the Soho house in Peru. Wait, 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 what? That's where they would hang out. The Incas. Oh, oh, I thought you were saying that this is reminding you. No. That That's the Incas Soho house. <laughs> Hopscotch. No, like this. My school's all loose. Oh my god, dude, you're gonna break it. But I didn't, did I? But if you kept going. But I wasn't gonna. <laughs> she had it coming. Oh my god. She had it coming. <laughs> Go. Small rocks and dirt in the middle and big rocks outside. That's what he said. Yeah. Nice. Damn. Oh my god, the I know it looks like stars. You know how to get back, right? Yeah, I know where we are now. This is so cute. On the first night, there's like people busking and like singing. Oh wow. Okay, this is so cool. I know. Like, look at these big old fucking rocks. It looks like those pillows. Yeah. Fuzzy pillows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What? Yeah. The fuck? Dude, that's crazy. Isn't that crazy? How? How? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Whoa, that street going up. I know. Whoa. Witches are doing ayahuasca. Oh, 100%. I keep forgetting that ayahuasca is here. Yeah. I love that. I love it here. I kind of want to. Actually, no, I don't. I might when I'm like 35. Yeah. If me and you did it, like, I don't know how people like do that for like weeks at a time. Do they? Yeah, they like come here and they like start tripping for like weeks at a time. This is fucking lit. I know, it's so Damn. The architecture's nuts. Has this been here since the beginning? Yeah. Damn. I don't remember which one's which, but I think this is the cathedral. Mm. And then also, do you see like the windows? Which ones? The, like just the windows in general. Yeah. They're, it's not glass. It's a transparent stone that they use to let light in. Whoa. Yeah. The kids are out. We're out. Okay. We've escaped the adults. We escaped the adults. Tell me what just happened. Okay, so basically Christelle's dad doesn't have any faith in us and thinks that we would get lost. Which we did, but we figured it out. We did. So we did get lost. You know how to get back, right? Yeah, I know where we are now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yes, yes. We were too stubborn to call her dad and ask how to get back to the hostel because... <laughs> I, I'm not even kidding. I would pay for a, a night at a random other fucking hostel so I wouldn't have to call my dad. Because they got into a little argument. <laughs> Let me tell them what this argument was. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. So we were walking.
morning and my dad and my uncle wanted to get a coffee and I saw a cat cafe with cats in it. So of course I'm like, I want to go there. So I told them, I was like, I want to go there. A cat cafe. There's cats in there, can we go? Sarah said like, oh, I'd have an allergic reaction. She's allergic to cats. I have an allergic reaction. So I jokingly was like, I was like, grow up. Grow up, okay. And then my dad was like, no, you grow up. And he was like genuinely upset with me for wanting to go to a cat cafe. You. No. What the fuck is wrong with that? Which was so bizarre and it just like really ticked me off. And dad, if you're watching this, that made me mad. Now I'm getting actually pissed off. <laughs> Anyways, so then they ended up finding another cafe and they were like, do you want to go into this one? And then I was like, no. And I just kept walking. And then I was like, how do I get to the hotel? Cause I was just pissed. I didn't want to like, I don't know, I was just mad. And then he's like, just go down straight that street. And he didn't tell me that I had to turn on another street. He gave us the wrong direction. This little snake. Because he doesn't think that we could figure it out. Because he wanted us to call him and be like, how do we get home? No, 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 no. We went through Google Images and found our hostel. We found it. We found it. We found it. And okay, now you tell them what you saw. So now we're walking back to the hostel and we're on the main street, like right down the street. And we're like, oh my God, we're so smart. We're so awesome. We did it. We're not 12. We can figure shit out. And as we're walking down the street, we were like laughing. Oh my God, they think that we're so stupid, whatever. We see her uncle right in front of us, walking down the same street. He was right in front of us. And we were like, why is he right? Like the timing of it was so weird. And we were like, wait, where's your dad? Her dad was not with her uncle. And then we look to our left and there's our hostel. And we're like, oh, okay, that's our hostel. Uncle's walking beer. Yeah. So we were gonna keep walking anyway, so like go grab a beer and then go back to the hostel. Yeah. But then we were like, why is your uncle walking alone down the street? Where is your dad? Like past the hostel, where is yeah. he going? Where is he going? Without my dad. Without, yeah, it was just very sketchy. And then I turn to my left and I look back into the hostel and I see legs coming down the stairs. <laughs> and I was like, wait a second. I know those legs. <laughs> I just see her dad's head. And I was like, Christelle, go, go. So we ran into a random movie star. It's like a phone company store. And they were like literally closing. And the girl was like, oh, do you need something? Like we're closing. Do you guys and then I was like, phone? no, literally. And I was like, I I'm running away from my dad. She literally hid behind the corner. Well, because I didn't store. see him. I didn't know how much time we had to find a place. I knew that we had a good 15 seconds because he was still walking down the stairs. It would take him about 15 seconds. And she hides in this mobile store. And the employees are like, um, can we help you? And I was like, Christelle. So now we're here. Yeah, this was the restaurant right next to the mobile store. So we just ran up the stairs and we got some brewskis. We didn't want them to see us because we want them to know that we figured this out by ourselves. Yeah. Like we didn't want them to think that we like followed them or anything. Yeah. Because we didn't. And it would look like we did if they saw us. Exactly. Alright, so that's that's what happened. Bye. There are 14 corners on this rock. There's a rock with 48 angles in my What? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I don't care how much they want, this is worth it when it's here. Okay. okay. Smile. I'm literally honored. I just got pissed on by a lamb. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> That's so funny. Just for other things. What is happening here? <laughs> Truly, what is going on? I was 
to be like, it kind of looks like Spain. I was just about to oh, say that. I wonder why. I know. I literally wonder why. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh my god, he's so cute. What happened? Yeah. Okay, the lady was like asking for the money because they like took pictures, right? Mm -hmm. And then so she gave her money and she's like, no, more. And then she's like, I just took photos with you down there. Like, I'm giving, like, come on. And then she was like, ugh. Like the lady Damn. with the llama was like, ugh. Oh my like, god. So abrupt. Like, she did that with me too, or yeah. the other lady. Yeah. Christelle, look back at it. Look back at it. Ready to hop in the bag of the whip and we do it as you. Chain on two. She says here. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Chain on. Yeah. Si te sientes cansadito, toma algo de refresquito. Algo fresco. Feeling tired. Get a refreshment. Ah. Okay. If you feel tired, they're playing Pesa Puma. Drink some fresh. Yeah. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> what did he say? He was like, do you need something? I was like, no, I'm just freaking out because you're playing best with <laughs> Oh, it's you and your guinea pig. Oh my god, this mural. Dude. That's you and the llama. Seriously. Their faces are so cute. <laughs> your bad finger. What? Is that your boo-boo finger? My boo-boo finger. Be careful. Dude, he's gonna take it off. Be careful. <laughs> I mean your dad. Inception. <laughs> yeah. Wait, do that again. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. This is my dad trying to play. So it's your vibe, it's kinda off. What the fuck? That's why it's flickering. <laughs> what the fuck did I do? <laughs> if anyone's vibes are off. <laughs> They've been so upset for the past like four hours. And I'm just getting loose. What you do? Let me see it down your head. Try to get loose. Hit the dance floor and act like there's nobody else in here. Calm down. Bring it down, down, baby. Do your thing. Hey, JB, right? Hit me down, up and down, like that. Down, like that. <laughs> okay, guys. We're at the airport. So unbelievably early. It is 3.28. We've been here for what? Like 30 minutes already? My dad was like, we need to get to the airport right now. Our flight isn't until 6.35. We can't even check into our flight because we're so early. We have to sit against this window and wait until we're even able to check in, but that's okay. I'm so annoyed. Her dad is just really concerned about us getting on this plane. It would have been really nice to be able to check in. <laughs> we don't need to fucking be here right now. We could have finished our fucking bachelor show. Or Temptation, Temptation Island. Island. But yeah, just an update. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> My school's all loose. Baby, come hop in the bag of the whip and we do it as you. <laughs> go, wait, go again. No, this, this way. <laughs> My school's all loose. Baby, come hop in the bag of the whip and we do it as you. Chain on team. She fell in love with the niggas, she know I be. My school's all loose. Baby, come hop in the bag of the whip and we do it as you.
yeah thanks for watching guys i know that this was a movie it was an experience i'm so happy that i get to share this kind of stuff with you guys and that you guys care you guys care about my experiences and just want to hear about it we had so much fun and yeah thank you guys for watching it means a lot i hope you enjoyed let me know where you want to see me go next what do you guys want to see did you like this was this too much this was literally like a movie i have no idea how i'm gonna edit this okay i'll figure it out Bye.